Let's get down to basics with a very simple API call. There are basically three components to a RESTful call. There's a method, a path, and your, the headers. The method is also called the verb. Get, post, put, delete. There's also things like patch and options. But what this does is it tells the API what we want it to do. That's why we sometimes call them verbs. Get the information and let me see it. Post this information to the API and save it as a new object put this information into that existing object, delete the object, things like that. The way we get to that object is the path. It may be a collection in the case that I'm showing here, but the idea is that it's a web address essentially. It's an HTTP location that you can get to like you would through your browser, right down to things like query parameters where we have the category, which is going to create a filter that's only going to return blogs in the API basics category. But then we need to send some additional information in the headers. Headers let us tell the API, for example, what kind of format we'd like to see that content returned in, like application JSON versus XML. We might also need to send credentials like our authorization tokens that says, this is me and you should know me, so you should allow me to actually do what I'm asking to do. These things are hidden in the headers in part because they're more secure that way and also that's how the HTTP protocol works. Now, if you're going to use something like curl, which is the very old school way of connecting, it's really complicated looking, but it's still a method, a path, and headers. And then you get your response back. There are other tools we can use. For example, we have the simplified console over on uxapi.io, but regardless of what tool you're using, you're pretty much gonna be sending a method, a path, and some headers to get a response. And that is your very simple API call.